Hi friends, my name is Amanda, and I'm the vicar at Redeemer Lutheran Church, and I'm really glad that you came to join us for Bedtime Bible Stories tonight. If you have your Spark Story Bible, go grab it, and you can follow along with the story as we read it. We're going to look at a story called Salt and Light. It's on page 268. When Jesus spoke from the mountainside, he always had important things to say. One story Jesus told as he was teaching from a mountain was about how we are like salt and light. Jesus said, you can be like salt to the rest of the world. People were a bit confused. Us, like salt, they asked. Jesus continued, salt is important. It keeps food from going bad and it makes it taste better too. Just a few specks of salt may not seem like much, but it makes a big difference to the food we eat. You may feel small, like a tiny speck of salt, but you are important. What do you what you do makes a difference in the world? The people began to understand. You can be like light to the rest of the world too. The people were curious to see how Jesus would explain this. Even a small lamp can light up a big room, Jesus said. Even though you are just one person, what you do and say changes the world around you. You shouldn't hide the bright light that you are. Show the love you have for God all day and every day. Then Jesus said, God gave the Israelites special rules and leaders to help them. And you will all live in God's way so that you can be like salt and light to the world. I came to help you follow the rules so that you are living in a way God wants you to live. I want you to teach others to live God's way too. This makes God happy. The people nodded, understanding what Jesus had to say and excited to make a difference in the world. Wow, Jesus said that we can be like salt and be like light. And I can see why the people listening to Jesus' story were a little confused. That's a little confusing to us, too. Sometimes I wonder, how can I, as one person, make a difference in all of God's world? And I think other people might feel that way, too. Maybe you felt that way as well. But the wonderful thing that Jesus tells us in our story is that no matter how small we might feel, God has wonderful things to show the world through us. So we can be like a speck of salt and we can make a big difference. We can be like just a little candle and we can make a big difference. All of us are able to be God's light to the world and to other people. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for Jesus and all Jesus teaches us. Thank you for reminding us that even though we're just one person, we can make a difference in the world around us. We can share your love with other people. God, be with us now and always. All the children said, Amen. I'm so glad you joined us for Bedtime Bible Stories tonight. I hope that you'll join us again next Monday night. But most importantly, I hope that you always, 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 always remember that you are a loved child.